Hello everyone, I'm Vera Wack, and with this video being my particle only challenge, however, this is the Rogue Tower 42069 update. So I will have another video with another particle only, particle cannon only challenge, a la radar only challenge, where, you know, I sort of fill the entire map with them, but that'll be a different video. So here we go. So obviously, as usual, we always fill the ballista or the houses with ballistas and we wait to get particle cannons. So with this update, the particle cannons take up, they're basically like mana guzzlers. So I'm going to try to get as much mana regen as possible before I can build, before I have to build a cannon. So mana siphons it is, that's going to help me, well, increase my mana regen because it is desperately needed. Now, I don't want to give spoilers. You may have seen what the particle cannons look like. But just you wait. You haven't seen them by themselves. Just waiting. These ballistas are amazing, but unfortunately, we're not. We're only using them temporarily. They're just staying near the tower, and that's it. They're not going to be strong enough to really stop enemies, especially the fast ones we're barely going to be able to put a dent in them. I'm assuming at least. They're just going to zoom by. So we can demolish and build a cannon here soon. All right. Oh boy. We do like no damage to armor. So here we'll increase our particle cannon. Oh yeah, there we go. Massive. And they shoot so fast. So now I'm out of mana basically. So this is why you need a lot of mana regen. They shoot faster, but oh, they guzzle mana. So mana siphons it is. We'll eventually get like a lot of income. I just need a bit more banditry and the, I don't know what it's called, the mining one. The plus three gold per kill, but it increases their speed. So we'll get banditry here because this is a game where we need, well, this is a map, a build, I guess you could say, where we need gold and we need mana. So my crystals are all covered. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, oh, enemy killed gives me more mana. That's good. Look how fast it shoots. Oh, this might actually be possible. We'll get the mm, health, actually. So, without this update, the particle cannons shoot a lot slower. Which means we don't have time to kill the massive waves, the ones with the portals. Because you weaken the portals and then they spawn like, I don't know, 10 enemies that also spawn enemies. More banditry, good. And so, there's just not enough gold. I would say. I'll try again uh, with the, again, the mining three gold and see maybe that'll increase our, the amount of particle cannons. But anyways, this is the update. We don't need to worry about that right now. We will get bleed them dry. That's future Vero's problem. I don't have to concern myself with this. Ooh. More mana regen, I think. We have enough mana regen to constantly to shoot on cooldown. This is good. They're just they're just destroying. And plus, like if a couple of stragglers get there, I've got ballistas which will slow. It'll slow or kill some of them. I don't know how many. So now I've got a uh, mana bank. It's gonna be very good. Now I've got enough gold to build another particle cannon, but I can't because I gotta get mana banks. Oh, look at this. Mana's getting full. That means I should get another particle cannon. So the thing that I, I don't really like about the particle cannons is that it doesn't one shot the enemies. So it leaves the enemies with a little bit of health left. So I need to get, eventually I'll need a particle cannon that kills the, like the near death. 
1250. We've got it. Right there. Now we'll get the mine so we can get the more gold. So you will get most health so we can focus on Oogie. Because I'm gonna need that. Oogie, he may look innocent, but he is strong. Maybe still innocent, but he's strong. And he destroys my tower very quickly. We try to avoid that. What I like to think is whenever we use the mortar tower, we're actually shooting mangoes at Oogie, trying to calm him down. Unfortunately, we're not we're not using mortars this time, aka mangoes. So I can understand how Oogie wouldn't wouldn't want to stop. So my particle cannon was not attacking Oogie, it was destroying the armor first. I, I, I don't like the priorities, but that's fine. Look, Oogie has like a swift breeze. Ah, oh, there we go. Knock him down. Ooh, crit. Damage to shields and more mana. Oh, look at that. It's almost time for a third particle cannon. And now we've got our gold. So we've, we're getting nine gold per kill. Which is going to help us a lot because we need a lot of mana banks and I would like a lot of particle cannons. They just look hilarious. They're so massive, but you know what? I've grown used to them. I don't know how I'm going to feel about the nerf when the update is gone. I'll miss them. At least I'll have these videos to look back fondly on them. There we go, look at that lightning. Destructoid. Uh, 1500, we're almost there. Four, 1400 and 1500. And this one will be the near death. I'm not sure how the near death priority is calculated. I'd like to see those numbers to see how it works, but I don't know. I'll get more range, actually. There we go. Because we will need to shoot them down fast. But yeah, I'd like to know, like, when does the near death outweigh the most armor? Or when does the near death outweigh the most health kind of thing? Because sometimes, like for Oogie, I assumed Oogie, if I have, if my first priority is most health, the second is most armor, I would assume that Oogie there has so much health that it would be first, but it doesn't seem to always work that way. We have some more damage to health. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, we have enough mana. Time for another particle cannon. So this is the tricky part, is I have to make sure I have more mana regen before building a particle cannon because I don't want to get to zero mana. Let's actually build one here, 1700. Oh, more mana. They do enough damage that it's not too bad if we don't have bleed or armor. It's not going to regen that fast, I don't think. All right, so this one is getting progress because we have those fast little buggers and I'll upgrade them a little bit so we do more damage. There we go. Increase our shield. Actually, no health, so we get crit. We've got the uh, <laughs> the the sea of graveyards. It separates them from us, or us from them. It's sort of like an intimidation tactic, where I'm trying to tell the Oogielings that this is not somewhere you want to be, but they they still show up. Do I have bleed? I don't have bleed. We'll get there eventually. So Amanda is, uh, is going down a bit. A few more mana banks. I feel like I'm not getting a lot of gold. Maybe because I'm spending it on mana banks pretty quickly, but it feels like I should have more. 
my near death tower is not really doing what it what I want it to do, but oh well. Ooh, mana bank. That means I'm increasing my mana regen, which means more particle cannons. You will get the fastest. There we go. I feel like if you actually want to get the fastest, you should probably do the first two priorities as fastest. Because as far as I know, I could be wrong, but there's a power applied to the value of the priority, the top priority, and then there's another, a different power, a lower power applied to the second one, and a lower power applied to the third one. But it still seems like, frequently enough, the second priority outweighs the first, so... Maybe the, the solution is to just have the first two to be the same, and then the third one be something different. This is going pretty well. The real test will be level 30. So now we've got Zombie Oogie. Oh, he's not going to survive. Um, he's surviving a bit more than I wanted. Let's get shield. There we go. Focus on Zombie Oogie. Actually, no. I need an armor. There we go. Zombie Oogie is gone. Tax against bleeding. That's we'll we'll get that. We'll get bleeding eventually. Do we have bleeding? We don't have bleeding. We do have bleeding. Well, shows how much I remember. So I think they're getting a little further than I want them at, in the progress. We're still doing okay, though. More damage to shields. There we go. <laughs> Plus eight tower. We've got a massive tower on that. I feel like the particle cannon on top of that tower should probably just tip over because it's so massive. Ooh, crits deal bleed. Yes. So I'm going to fill out these universities. I don't, um... I don't have any uh, percentages involved in it, but eventually I will. More shield damage. So we're... Wait. Oh, it's right behind it, isn't it? Maybe. Oh well. This is actually pretty bright. All this lightning. It's weird how white surrounded by like blue just makes everything pop out so much. Uh, oh, crit chance. Yes. Ooh, universities. I guess I should probably start leveling them up soon. Uh, not yet. I need more mana banks. I've got... well, kill them with fire. I don't want to have a tower because that's just going to unlock more cards and no thank you. So we'll just upgrade 4% per university. I feel like that's a good, that's a good amount. Usually, sometimes I go to 5%, but I feel like I may want to conserve my gold a bit. We'll just get more bleed, so like that when we crit, we'll do more damage. There we go. So 
So, oh, this is level 32. Oh, we've done level 30. I was too busy upgrading and paying and, you know, not paying attention to see how it went. Clearly we didn't die from it. The armor enemies are getting pretty far. Maybe I need another particle cannon. Oh, my mana. Hold on a second. It'll maybe get better. Yeah, it's getting better, but I should still, I should still not tempt fate, I would say. So they're getting a little too far. Which means it's time for another particle cannon soon. Oh, plus three research. Good. This is exactly what I wanted. Universities, that's, oh. 3% for each. All right, so my next particle cannon will be placed down here. Oh, I need 3,000 gold? Oh boy, hurry up. Destroy them. Soon. And there we go. So we'll get armor, because the armor enemies are getting pretty close. Like, sort of close. We get more research. No, actually, I want poison. I regret it. I should have gotten the research. Oh well. So now they're not getting as far. That's really good. Imagine having all this lightning around you. Oh, that would be scary. You're just going to the store and then there's all these like particle cannons. I just call it lightning, you know? I think it's close enough. It's easy enough to understand. And so um, you're going to the store and all of a sudden there's lightning everywhere. This is what it's like to be an Oogieling. Oogie tried to get there. He didn't manage to do it. So he went back home well, as a zombie, realized his fridge was still empty, and then he decided, okay, gather up my courage, gather up some followers, and we'll get there. The lightning can't get all of us, right? Right? Insert Star Wars meme. And so it turns out that he couldn't make it. And his friends, his oogielings, brought his body back, and they fixed him up as a robot. A uh, more crit, that's good. And so, as a robo zombie oogie, just get leash shield, just so we have different attacks. Okay. Um, as a robo zombie, oogie decided, you know what? It should probably be fine. I think I'll survive. Little did he know, as soon as he stepped out the portal, he saw there was even more lightning. And he wasn't grounded properly, so the lightning actually hurt him quite a bit. So we figured, you know what, maybe, maybe, if I don't touch the ground, I'll be safer. So his last words were that he just wanted to be a floating brain, and currently, we are, well the Oogielings are currently trying to extract his massive brain from his robo-zombie body and give it some kind of, you know, good nutrients for it to grow and be strong. And then he'll strike. He will get to the grocery store. If it's the last thing he does. Okay, so universe, uh, university is doing pretty good. We don't really have that many skill ups. Five shield, two armor, one health. Ugh. What shall we do? Ooh, more 2% bonus. That's actually pretty good. Let's put another bill or university here. There we go. Now, 
our research is going to sort of skyrocket a little bit. I think these are the last ones that we have to upgrade. We haven't had any issues with um, the, the Oogielings getting somewhat far, but level 40 is just around the corner. I think I might... Actually, we don't have burn. Let's get burn just so they don't regen um, their armor. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh well. I feel like the amount of time that they spend... Actually, no, there's, I, there's one that I saw that uh, spent a while before getting hit again, so the dots are good. The dots are good. I need a couple more particle cannons, I think. One, oh, plus nine. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. Ooh, crit steal burn damage. Let's get the particle cannon there. And we'll get most shield. So this is going to be the focus for Big Brain Ogi, at least at the beginning. So my mana is going down a little bit, but it comes back up. Oh no, it's just, just, yeah. It's going down a bit. So they are getting a little far. Oh no. I think I'll get another particle cannon to focus on near, right? Or progress, rather. There's no near. I don't, I haven't played with the near priority. Maybe I should. Oh boy, my mana. Oh no. When it gets to half. Oh, it's a bit less than half. Oh gosh. It's like hovering near a quarter. I don't like this. Oh. Oh no. Uh, right, okay. Let's just get burning enemies, take an extra burn damage or shield da armor damage. I need mana. I don't want to lose at this level because of lack of mana. It's happened too many times. Okay, that should be good for now. I think I could probably get another particle cannon with my mana regen. This looks very satisfying. I like seeing it without the um, the, the UI sometimes. Yeah, this is... Eh. There's a lot of them that spawn, like the, the little fast with a lot of shield dudes, but my particle cannons can take it. Oh, for sure. You are actually going to get the near death. So we'll get more burn damage. Do near death, near death to make sure we focus on the near death. Okay, level 42 is uh, one of the scary ones. We have two particle cannons that are uh, progress, which is good. And then we've got one that's near, and then one, or darn it, near death. And then another one that's near death, but I don't know if it'll go to the second priority or the near death one first. Look at all this. This uh, the firing speed is really good. And it's so great, look, like even if I zoom out a long way, I can still see where the particle cannons are because they're so massive and hilarious looking. So this one will also be progress. Take poison damage. So it'll be progress, but it can't reach all the way. So it'll sort of, I don't know, in my mind it seemed to work. I don't, I don't really know anymore.
It, it made sense in the... Yeah, it makes sense. Don't worry about it. Trust me on that. That's a lot of enemies. Do you know how awesome it would be to have some AoE? Which would be nice if particle cannons could have like a 0.1% chance to do a chain lightning hit. Or like a 1% chance. I don't know what the percent chan chance would be, but I don't know. Just a chance to chain lightning to uh... either like 1 or 20 extras. I wouldn't mind if it could ricochet or chain lightning to 20. Even like, you know what, just keep it to four. I think that would probably make more sense. All right, so we have 414 mana per second. This one will get slowest. We don't, we don't, I don't use that priority much. Okay. Get another particle cannon soon. <laughs> maybe I'll try. I was thinking maybe I could just put a lot of particle cannons and then destroy everything quickly on wave 45, but I think the only thing that's going to happen with that is I'm going to go out of mana quickly and die. And it'll be hilarious, but oh boy, will that be embarrassing. This is... You know what? This is going very well. I think Big Brain Oogie is going to, you know, lose pretty quickly. I'm feeling pretty confident about these particle cannons. Ooh, crit steal 10% of the poison damage. Nice. Okay. Slow motion. Let's find Oogie. Oh, there. Oh, wow. Half shield. Oh, well, shield's gone. Okay. Armor. Uh, I don't have many particle cannons focusing on armor. You focus on armor, actually. And let's buff you up. There we go. We've got a couple of them. Uh, well, the armor's gone. Okay, well, go back to progress then. That didn't last long. Big brain Oogie. Oh, yeah. He's, he's not making it around this bend. It's like, yeah, he's gone. All right, well, in that case, we have 17,000 gold. We might as well use it for something, right? Do we upgrade a tower or build more? That's a very silly question. You know why? Because I think it's easiest what we're going to do. We're going to build more. Let's build more. Yeah, I mean, it does look like they're getting pretty far. Let's just build a couple more. And then, oh, a plus eight, was it? More. Oh, wait. My mana's going down a bit. Oh, that's fine. Huzzah! That was pretty nice. See, particle cannon only is doable with the April Fool's update. Happy April Fool's, it's, you know. This is great. Um, I do hope that some of the changes that they're doing, that they did for the April Fool's update, that are sort of applied to the game, but we'll see. I mean, I don't want it to be super easy, obviously. I don't want it to be, like, trivial doing three path, but I like the buffs. Look at all these particle cannons. That's a lot of mana banks, too. I don't want to look at that. We got 506 mana per second. It's a lot of money invested. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, I'm Varowak. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have another particle-only video uh, somewhat shortly-ish. So I hope you enjoyed that. hope you enjoyed this one. And let me know what other challenges you'd like. Not for the April Fool's update, because that's basically done. <laughs>